All right. Well, um, this is my my attempt at a um, RuneScape video. As you can see, I'm playing on the 07 RuneScape servers. I'm about to kill this imp. I had a lot more footage um, before this that I was going to that I was going to use, but um, unfortunately, it didn't save because I had done a few quests. I actually got killed by the Dark Wizards by that you do the demon slayer i think those are dark wizards i don't know i can't remember so i'm uh, making this it's going to be a video series um and it'll probably generate 100 views tops but you know who if you want to watch me get a rune bucket helm from the beginning well not from the complete beginning because i had already played i think i show my stats here soon but um you know if you want to see it as as I play, get a rune bucket helm. Try to find one, you know. Um, you you are more than welcome to watch. I'll be uploading these. I think I do a few. I do a few quests in this video. Um, I I just uh, you know, cut cut frame and went straight to Varrock because you cannot. You're walking so slow in this game. So what I did was just I do a lot of uh, frame cuts. So here we go. I'm in Varrock. I'm talking to Romeo. I'm gonna do the Romeo Juliet quest. Get a quick, get a quick five quest points. You know how I do. Um, blah 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 blah. I skip through almost all this. I don't even know what he. I don't even know what these quests are about in RuneScape. Um, pretty much, you know, I don't think anybody does know what these storylines are about. So, um, I'm doing this. You know, I just I, I'm doing that. But uh, I was pretty stoked about getting the the 07 back because it's it's just it's it is i think this is when everybody 06 07 is about when everybody started playing this game and uh yeah i don't know i don't know dude i'm thrown off it's so weird not play. like it's high detail mandatory mandatory roofs i don't like that I, don't, I wish it wasn't but um so i am just going in here to talk to Juliet, but um, back to what I was saying, it's, it, I think RuneScape 07 was when everybody started playing, so I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty cool, pretty fun, everybody was playing it, and then, um, you know, it just seems like, with the updates and all that, I had stopped playing before they introduced the Grand Exchange, but then I started playing again, and I didn't really mind the Grand Exchange introduction, I don't know if I would want it in the 07 servers again, um, Probably not because it is much more fun to go sit in, sit in World One, and retype, buying. Oh, I go in here because look, it's so weird without a grand exchange on the map. Look at that. But it's so much fun to go into a bank and then just keep on typing out until you can find the product that you want. And uh, the thing about the new servers starting over again is like it's brand new economy. So like you don't really have to like. Uh, every piece of gold is worth worth <laughs> like you just got to pick up everything you just got to be a hog about it like i got three bronze arrows five feathers and a raw chicken in my inventory right now i don't know why i didn't deposit them at my bank but um you know i just loot everything and uh so i'm just doing quests trying to get quest points because the sooner i can get dragon slayer done the sooner i can wear a rune plate body and from there i'm probably gonna try to get a um fighter torso from barb assault but you know I'm, I'm off to see father lawrence right now i think i cut frames yeah i cut frames to father lawrence um but so i'm gonna do the fighter torso i got i got my boys on this um chef keith um and too cold mike um you know we we're gonna keep it real we're uh we're gonna play this like we did back when we were 12 years old all of us so um, that's gonna be real fun for uh, everybody to do. Is just kind of uh, it's the nostalgia, really. I think that's why um, that it's gonna be so much fun playing it. But yeah, here are my stats. So I don't know if I've showed them before, but like yeah, I've already done some stuff. And I've already you can see that I've already done a couple quests. I actually died on on that one that I was telling you about. Um, coming up over here, you can see where I was running. I was, where I was running was where I died the first time because I was doing Rune Mysteries and I was coming up here. For some reason, I thought there was, like up, up, up on the map, I thought there was an entrance over there. I think I click on it again because I, I could swear that there's an entrance there. But, you know, 
I'm just getting all these berries. I don't know how many you need. I think you only, you only need one, but I was just like, I'm going to get more than one. But, um, so I had, I'm heading up here. Like, watch. I think I click on it again. I click. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see if I click on it again. I don't know. Do I? Yeah, I do. See, I think, for some reason, I think that you can get through there. And that's what I thought last time. So, I'm doing Rune Mysteries. And I'm running over here. Like, yeah, cool. So, I, so th this is where I died last time. So, I put on run. Because I'm not trying to get far casted, right? Oh, God. Look at that. That's scary. He hit nothing. Thank goodness. But, uh, so I see this imp. Because I also have imp, imp catcher started. But I was going to go to kill him. But I didn't want to go do that. So, I cut frame again. Talk to this guy about getting a potion. He's got he's got a little bit more hair than me, but we both have similar beards. I respect that. Um, I try to just make my guy just wear the stupidest clothes and just have him make it as stupid as possible. Um, do I wish I could have an afro? I don't even think I saw it in there. I mean, do they have an afro? But um, yeah. So I get the potion made. I'm going. I'm going back to do this now. It's all right. Um, but what I'm going to be doing in this series is is hopefully make a series of videos leading up to the final goal of getting a rune bucket helm so with the rune bucket helm it will be i think the rune bucket i was so disappointed when the when the update came because i think the rune bucket helm is is the is the best looking piece of armor that you can get in the game i think i used the 3h but then again, I might use the 4H. I don't know. Um, or is it H4? Is it H3? I think it's H3, H4. Um, but, uh, you know, I haven't I haven't played this game really since the combat, um, like the armor update. Um, I just didn't like the way everything looked. So it was just kind of like, it was a disappointment really. How, you know, it... I wish there was an option. I wish there was like two different armor skins. Like, you know, on Minecraft, um, I know for the Xbox, I've, I've never really played it for PC, um, but I bought it for the Xbox 360, the console game on, just more comfortable with the controller. But uh, you can you have an option to view player skin. I think if they would have made it an option to have the old old skins of armor, like an armor skin. And the new armor skin, if you could have the old armor skin, because coming into that, I mean, that was kind of glitchy. There was like, oh, you could wear a black chain body and it make your chest invisible. And then I didn't even know what armors people were wearing out there in the wild. You'd be walking out there just trying to PK and some guy's wearing some, some rune, rune armor and it looks, it looks completely outrageous. Um, which... Speaking of armors, I wonder how they're going to put black into uh, circulation. Like, I'm sure they're just going to do treasure trails, but, um, you know, who knows. Right here at this point, I'm starting uh, Doric's quest just to get some quick mining XP. And I'm going down here, alright, completely forget that you need to be whatever level to get it. And this guy right here is mining. And he's dropping the iron. I got so lucky right here. Um, like, he's dropping the iron. I, I didn't even know you had to be a 50. So I get these. I get the ore. And I, I get all the ores that I need. I come up and I start talking to this guy. I say, hey, buddy. Um, you got any? Look at me. I cannot type. I'm the worst typer and speller in the world. But um, And grammar, too. You got any more iron for my chums? And he says... See, I thought, like, because, you know, everybody's such a low level that you see a low level doing this kind of stuff, and you're just like, oh, what a botter. And I'm like, oh, that's what I assumed at first. And I'm like, he's like, yeah, dude, I got some. So, you know, what a nice guy. You know, I thought he was botting, which he wasn't, and he gives me these iron. He gives me iron to fill up my inventory, right? I th I'm pretty sure sure he's just skilling, but uh, he gives me this iron because I knew that, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to help out my friends, and I'm going to get iron for them because, I mean, we're not level 15 mining and it's that's kind of a it's kind of a daunting task mining's a little bit painstaking but uh you know i got that for him i almost forgot to say thank you and then i come back i say thanks man so he knows that i was appreciative you know how rude of me not even to say thank you but uh so here's me finishing up the quest and uh later believe it or not i went back there to see if he could give me any more iron because i was gonna sell it here wait for people to come up and sell it try to make some money but uh he was gone. The mysterious man was gone. The uh, 
So, but it was really nice of him. So big shout out to that guy, uh, Scowie, Scooey. I don't know how to pronounce stuff. And that's it.